make one other change from that team. Chris Hewton regains the left-back spot from Mark Bowen. Steve Perriman is carrying an ankle injury, but he plays through the pain, the sort of attitude you'd expect from a man who's not missed any of the club's FA Cup matches in the last 14 years. Norwich City stick to the same lineup, which contains Spurs at White Hart Lane. Number seven, John Devine, played in an FA Cup final for Arsenal, but in this side, there's only one character who's been a winner in this competition. Mick Shannon with Southampton in 1976. But a more meaningful guide to his form is his winning goal when these two teams met here in the first division in December. The referee, as on Saturday, is Joe Worrell from Warrington. He's officiating at Carrow Road for the first time. It's a wet night in East Anglia, but tremendous cup tie atmosphere here. Many Norwich fans remembering 25 years ago when Spurs were victims as Norwich, then in the third division, went on to reach the semi-finals. Spurs defend the goal to the right in the first half, and the first free kick for offside to be taken by Graham Roberts. For Tony Galvin, who was a heavy frost last night, so the ground in some places was quite hard and the water was laying on top of it and Ardiles operating initially on the right hand side of Tottenham's four in midfield there's been a tactical switch from the first match Gary Mabbott taking up a more central role in tonight's lineup and here's Chris Hewton Paul Miller Steve Archibald, who will be disappointed that he missed some three chances on Saturday at White Hart. Mendham's header out. Ardiles. Back header from Archibald. Falco. Galvin right in there. Put forward by Archibald and across the face of the goal. Norwich have numbers back. Maybe Galvin can find a way past them. And it's skimmed across to Woods' right. Sensibly played by Galvin towards the area by the far post. Shot come cross. And Galvin stumbled past Greg Downs. He really was looking for someone perhaps to apply the final touch at the far post. Shaft. Here's Ardiles. Ball that checked out to the left and takes on Watson. And the ball again favoured the Norwich captain. Birchin trying to get beyond Roberts, who missed it. Miller was there as the second line of defence. Tottenham having one or two problems dealing with the long clearances from Woods. It was a neatly cushioned header there from Falco. And an advantage played by the referee was right on Mabbott and Mabbott returned the compliment here's Galvin Haylock showing him the inside Archibald now Hewton into the feet of Falco Hewton again and Norwich have left Galvin Mabbott waiting beyond the far post Roberts Got the strength to get past Van White. Drops from Roberts and just floated away from Archibald. Ardiles always sensing where the centre of the action might be. Cute. Archibald waiting in the middle. Ardiles. The one two with Falco and Ardiles goes on. Away by Harida. Only back where it came from. And Watson unsure where the ball had rolled to after the challenge from Galvin. Now Van Roy. Birchin breaking ahead of him. Cut out initially by Gary Stevens. And the problems there for the Norwich front players, particularly Keith Birchin, was to stay on side.
Well, Tottenham will be pleased with the appetite shown by Ozzy Ardiles in the opening quarter of an hour. Just a little casual at the back between Miller and Roberts. Miller raised an arm to acknowledge his error. Ardiles again. And we're trying to pin him down to a, a roll on the right-hand side. But his sense of adventure is carrying him across the midfield at the moment. Miller's head up, Shannon. Guided with great de deliberation, but there was waiting on the Norwich right. Divine. Tony Parks knows that Ray Clements be fit to have a game in one of the Tottenham teams this weekend. Hewton. And it was fortunate for Tottenham that it went to Ardiles. Archibald. Now Mabbott. And the referee choosing to call a halt and book John Devine, as indeed he did on Saturday for a blatantly late challenge on Mabbott. The incident coming as the ball broke loose. Mabbott got to it, and then Devine got Mabbott. Harry Mabbott, who's had a season that's been decimated by injuries. And he joins the end of the wall. Now, what can Tottenham come up with here? It's Ardiles. It's certainly a measure of his confidence on his return to the first team. But, uh, he wanted to take the free kick, and really waved others away. That's the conditions that the players are labouring under. A real deluge. The rain has been falling since early afternoon. Shannon's back pass wouldn't have reached Woods. Archibald would have intercepted. And it was important for Norwich that Watson intervened. Shannon. That stayed in play off Galvin. Tied it up by Roberts. Norwich's turn to use the offside ploy. And both sets of defences really compressing the game into midfield. Watson went then with the free kick. Dean. Mendham going on past Roberts. And Van Wyck. The player they say doesn't score enough. his left foot round that one and eight minutes from half time Norwich find themselves in front it really was a loose ball that came his way but he thumped it into the roof of the net it was Mendon's first run and then Parks was totally beaten Tottenham Hotspur nil. Dennis Van Wyck's first goal of the season. And it's really 
just what this tie has needed. A rather stilted match at White Hart Lane. And a cautious beginning here. As a Dutchman celebrates, a Norwegian is down injured. about Carroll Road now. Barely a shot in anger in the opening 38 minutes until Dennis Van White pulled the trigger. Ardiles. Interception from Downs. And is away. And pass Miller. Shannon in the middle. Mendham has joined him. Will it come for Shannon? Mick Shannon, 2 0. And the Wheel of Triumph brings extra jubilation here. It's his 250th goal in senior club football. Norwich have scored twice in three minutes and turned this tie their way. But John Dean was at the heart of this move breaking from the halfway line and the ball favoured Shannon as he challenged with great purpose and recovered his balance to stick it past Parks and Dean has particularly left Paul Miller earlier in the move and Shannon who will laugh and tell you that he's got a terrible habit, he can't stop scoring goals Norris City 2 Tottenham Hotspur 0 Momentary delay for an injury to Chris Hutton, which has Keith Birkinshaw looking a little worried from the top of the bench. Worried he must be. Roberts. Falco, 2 1. Just what Tottenham wanted at the start of the second half. On my watch, 75 seconds. Falco didn't collect cleanly, that's for sure. Wood stranded. Roberts made an important challenge here. It dropped for Falco, who swung the left foot at it, and it bobbled into the corner. The initial ball in came from Galvin. Roberts beating Watson. Falco, 2-1. Mark Falco is 14th of the season. Shannon. Mendham and Parks pouring it away. Connected by Ardiles. Possibilities here for a break with Galvin. Archibald is up with him. Galvin against Haylock. And Woods had to hang on with Archibald following in. And the newfound optimism. Spurs heart shown by Galvin's run. And it's a real cup tie chant from the Tottenham fans calling for their side to go marching in again. But here's Haylock for Norwich, stopped by Roberts. Painfully for him. Brought down by Hewton. And so Worrell, who booked four players on Saturday, walks 
goals a second tonight. Chris Hewton's name is recorded. in a crisis and it was significant that he played a part in the goal that Tottenham so badly needed at the start of the second half Archibald has he got the pace here Woods is there first Burchin good jump from him and Dean the linesman is flagging even though the ball almost made away through for Shannon and Burchin the second, Burchin and Roberts, two big men, squared up to each other in the heat of the battle. The spark of temper quickly went away again. Gary Stevens, Roberts. Tottenham have got to take a chance or two, as Roberts did then. Fortune in the end favoured him. Perryman. position the management incurring the wrath of the home supporters Archibald Falco turn to try and make some space for Dean behind him. And Dean can turn. And Perriman using all his experience with that little cushion header back to the goal. The defenders that have shirked that responsibility. Archibald. Roberts used an arm Shannon felt been unintentional not easy to see from this angle as Roberts turned a rider here's Miller and Ardile is saying let me have it Divine and another of those long raking passes and Shannon is in the clear here Mick Shannon the corner and really he will know that he could have put the tie here beyond Tottenham's reach Parks didn't commit himself and the pack got a hand to it it seems although the decision was a goal kick and it's Ardiles furthest forward for Tottenham then Miller Mabbott in strongly. It really is what the cup is all about. And it comes for Archibald. And now Falco. Falco's cross. And put wide beyond the far post by Galvin. Back 
Half goes cross. Went over Miller and Galvin with a side foot chance that could have pulled top them level. Certainly that miss of Galvin's and warning to Norwich. How brittle their lead is at the moment. Here is Galvin. And Roberts coming in behind the rider who just made enough contact to divert the ball away from Roberts but to concede a corner. And such is Roberts' enthusiasm that he's gone across to take it himself. And maybe this is an unrehearsed one. Roberts thumps it into the middle. And the punch away from Woods after an awkward deflection. Falco, anywhere will do for Dave Watson. Van White. Tottenham, keep the pressure on. Stevens. Keith Birkinshaw's side are going out. It's not without a tremendous fight. Hazard is waiting to come on. Here's Downs, a miscue from Roberts. And Dean was the original snapshot as the ball broke loose of Miller. And Tottenham now make their substitution. And what a gamble this is, because it's Mark Falco who scored their goal, who comes off. And Mick Hazard, a midfield player, asked to try and pull this tie out of the fire. He's had a dramatic impact on one or two of Tottenham's FA Cup exploits in the past as a substitute. And there are ten minutes left. Galvin, Hazard's first touch. Goal kick, Galvin rather slid into the ball and it went behind off his momentum. And the Norwich manager, Ken Brown, just behind the linesman doing the pointing, come down to the bench to try and urge his side through this last 10 minutes. Expressions of anxiety on the Tottenham bench. Cute. Here's Mabbott. Kept in play by Gary Stevens. Ardiles. He's found Perriman. Hasn't let it run. Roberts! If anyone deserved an equaliser, it was this man. He timed his move forward well. And one touch on the chest. The second touch was a thumping right-footed shot that went just over. Steve Perryman, who's twice collected the FA Cup. But it looks as though it won't be his year this year. Here's Van Wyk who started it all off and enough sting in the shot to trouble Parks. Perriman. Archibald. Perriman waiting for Miller to join Stevens at the far post. Roberts, of course, is there. Wood stays on his line. And just as well he did, because Roberts glanced the ball inside that post. But Woods made sure it didn't cross the line. 
Roberts getting up well. And Woods in the right spot for Norwich. Mabbott. It's Norwich's throw. Gasps of relief around Carroll Road. Shannon. Running it to the corner. He knows that will do. Use up a few more seconds. There'll be no one in a hurry to take this throw for Norwich. Shannon collects. It's another Norwich throw. And the canary yellow and green scarves very much on display. Final whistle. Carrow Road has staged another spirited FA Cup performance by Norwich City, who are through to the fifth round. They've beaten Tottenham Hotspur 2-1. Their scorers, a player who has trouble scoring goals, Dennis Van Wyk, one he'll never forget, and a player who's been scoring them for years, Mick Shannon, with what turned out to be the winner, Mark Falco pulling one back for Tottenham, 75 seconds into the second half. So another of the First Division elite goes out, and Tottenham have once again found Norwich their bogey side.